some of you know the problems of language uh, can be uh, funny, but um, it, it is the same situation, the divide and rule that is actually in in other expressions created this tremendous turmoil in Africa and other places in the world. Yes. And we're we're looking from my research and staggeringly hearing uh, you talk, you're saying exactly the same as I've come across. It's incredible confirmation that a reptilian race from another world has been behind the manipulation of humanity for a very, very long time. Now, what do these Chittahuli actually look like, the reptiles? I'm not a good artist. You're better than me, that's for sure. But this is how we believe the Chittahuli look like. They were created in this you you see sir you white people say that there are alien beings on this earth no you are wrong the earth in which we live has produced 24 different races during its long existence please sir, this is how a chitauli looks like it stands about 11 feet high. It is a very slender being, which seems not to have a bone structure. Its, its fingers have no joints. They are more like, they are more as if the bones in here were flexible. It, uh, some of the Chitauri have got three claws with a thumb. Some have got six claws with a thumb. And some of the Chitauris have got horns on their heads. And what surprises me is this. Some film producers like the producers who, who make the film Star Wars, often show creatures in their films which actually exist, which even the most uneducated of Africans who knows this Chitauli can identify. For example, in the new Star Wars film, what is it called? Star Wars or something like that. There is a creature who amazes me called Darth Maul. Darth Maul is a red and black being with a ring of small horns right round his head. That is exactly what the Chitawuli look like. Some have got ordinary heads without any horns on their on their on their heads. These are the lesser chitaul. But the royal chitaul have got a ring of sharp horns all around their heads. And the very high chitaul, like their king, Mubaba Samahongo, they have got a very long horns which grow this way not that way like a bull but this way like certain antelopes now I wonder I just wonder where these film producers get their information from and in in one strange feeling, which my student told, called me to come and watch, the, the thing called Stargate 2. Mm -hmm. And in that feeling, there was a creature, a very slimy, cream-colored creature, with the heavy wrinkles on its face, it was a spitting likeness of 
Mubaba Samahongo, the terrible emperor of the Chitaudi. Well, clearly.